What is up Spartans, Batman from TST Gaming here to keep you updated with everything Halo. And today we're talking about the new infinite map revealed. But before we get started, please subscribe for more Halo content. So we finally get our first glimpse at map number 6 for Halo Infinite, and this one is called Streets. It takes place in New Mombasa. It's a small to medium sized map that's asymmetrical, meaning that it has two sides that don't map. They did say that this map is really well received on Strongholds as well as Oddball. Now some of the power weapons we noticed on this map were rockets right in the dead center. That, that's meant to be a quick power grab for either team. Also is the shock rifle, and when you pick up the shock rifle, there's a little balcony that has, as they put it, very specific sight lines, and there's some palm trees covering up some of the views, so you don't have a very wide view, but you have kind of three different paths that you could be scoping out and, and seeing what's going on. We also have the heat wave, as well as I saw a bulldog in there as well. Now, of course, this could change depending on mode or map variations, but that's what we saw in the reveal. We also saw three different equipments. First one being the grapple shot, then drop wall, and for the first time in multiplayer that we've seen is the thruster pack. Now this map overall is gorgeous. They have a lot of different art styles to really make it feel like you're in a town and that this could be what the nightlife looks like for New Mombasa in this area. Now there is an arcade that I thought was really cool to see. They actually had a game at the arcade that we look at the screen, it says Halo Infinite, insert coin. So I thought that was a really nice little nod to the game. Uh, as well as the heat wave was picked up off of a weapon rack that's on a vending machine, which I thought was really nice. This map looks like there'll be about two levels to play with on certain parts of the map. So it looks like it'll be slightly vertical, which would make sense with the grapple shot. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for, again, strongholds and oddball. One thing I gotta say that this map truly demonstrates is how much the attention to detail has been put into this game. Just in the graphics alone. Some of the paint even on the walls looks very realistic. Some of it has faded off. Some of it has worn over time. You see cables in certain junction boxes. The tiles on the ground, it just looks amazing. And I truly cannot wait to get our hands on it in December. And that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching TST Gaming. And until next time, just play.